Hi, in this video we will learn to create a pivot table using pandas in Python. Pivot underscore table is the name of the function where we pass data, values, index, columns, act function, etc. to create a Excel looking pivot table. Let's introduce the data set. We are going to use the export data from 2010 till 2018 for this example. The data is having five columns, HS code, commodity, value, country and year. We will use this data to create a simple pivot table. Let's try it in Excel first. Go to insert, click pivot table. Now we have a pivot table available. Add country in the rows, columns, year, value will be value. It will create a simple pivot table with columns as years and rows in country. Similarly, we can create in Python as well. In Python, rows are known as index, columns are still columns, values are value. We would need the path of this file, so equal to cell and file name. We use this function in Excel, we get the path of the file with the file name. So copy this path. Let's open Jupyter Notebook and create a blank notebook. Go to New, select Python 3. It will create a blank notebook. Now first we need to import some libraries. Import pandas as pd. It should be import. Next import numpy. as NP in case we need some mathematical functions. Let's copy the database in the da form of data frame. So df equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in the brackets mention r because path in the windows format and provide the path and run it. Let's check the data set df dot head. It will give first five lines. Now let's see the function again. So in this function we have to provide data which is df data frame name values will be value field name index will be uh, the name of the countries in this case and columns will be year and act function will we will keep it sum in a, in this case rest of the values are not mandatory and we can see later that how to use them for this video we will create a simple pivot table now we know the field names let's call the function and create a new data frame for that. So df underscore pivot is the name of new data frame. pd dot pivot underscore table. So we are calling pivot table function from pandas here. Pass the parameters now. So if you go and do shift tab you can see the definition and you know that what you need to put in as the part of the parameters here. So first it will require data which is the data frame name so we will mention df comma now values which field is values in this case that is value you can see the third column above that is value next provide index so we are gonna have rows in the form of country so index will be country comma columns year will be the column field for now 
Please note that we can have more than one index, more than one columns, even more than one values if required. Act function, we need to mention sum because by default it is mean. If we don't provide it, it will consider mean and provide mean value. So this should create a simple pivot table. Run this code. I guess there is some small mistake. Okay, country should have C small case sensitive. Now it runs perfectly fine. Let's see the output df underscore pivot dot head. You will see the first five lines country as an index and columns as the top and values printed. Similar thing we got in the Excel as well. Now let's see one small variation. If we put co commodity as well in columns along with year then data in Excel will look something like this. Similar thing let's try in Python as well. So for columns we have to use the brackets and provide another column name that is commodity in this case. Now ideally we should get two columns now. After running you can see that aircraft will be the first column and similarly other columns added along with years as the second level of the columns. So this would be our expected output. That provide a brief idea how to use pivot table and create pivot table in pandas. Let's copy this data using df pivot dot to excel and providing a path in the form of excel sheet. Provide the path and the name of the file. Run it and then copy the path and open the file. So here is the output. You can see the country name on the left first column and then um, name of the years in the second row and commodity names in the first row. So it is well presented data here. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.